Hello, today is Monday, January 13, 2020. Um, I would like to, like I'm thinking about this whole Ukrainian air, airplane crashed at the height of conflict between the cleric regime in Iran and the United States. Similar incident took place in 1988 when the U.S. intervened in Iran and Iraq war and the US took the side of Iraq at that time the US launched a missile hit one uh, passenger airplane uh, it was on the Persian Gulf and the passenger airplane was destroyed lots of people died so uh, the leader of the revolutionary people um, headmaster or imam uh, Khomeini said that, well, this calls for a peace. And he says, I drank Charles of poison. And after that, he died. Uh, I'm not being sarcastic. These are historical fact. Um, so he died. And um, at this time, the USA um, targeted one revolutionary guard. guard who was really prominent in the field of expanding uh, the foreign policy of the cleric regime in the region. And the regime in Iran launched missiles and hit their U.S. bases in Iraq. The U.S. has become retaliated really hard and harsh. As they were just going through uh, exchanging words with one another, the regime in Iran brought down one passenger airplane. I was shocked to see there is this person in the middle of the night in a civilian area who is standing aiming his or her camera at the sky at the exact location, at the exact time, and capturing that moment. I was shocked. I was really shocked. Like, what is going on? Like, how did this person has knowledge to aim their camera at the sky? Like, they're aiming it, and they know where the incident is going to take place. It's not a random video clip. And the revolution guards are saying, yes, we did it, it was an accident, we are sorry. And the U.S. says, well, we are not going to retaliate, we are done. And I was like, okay. Like, uh, what to think? So, um, I start like, thinking about it, reading between lines. And this is the story between U.S. and the regime in Iran. The, in my view, the cleric regime in Iran killed those people intentionally so the USA would not go after more uh, those elements of the regime that they could be killed or uh, the USA may invade Iran. And topple the regime. Some people will say, "Oh no, they uh, Rus Russia and the Chinese would attack." And World War said, "No, no, no, no." You see, Russia and China never would have face-to-face -face military assault with each other. Uh, they prefer proxy war, and um, if the regime, because the regime does not have legit legitimacy and consent of Iranians to govern. So, uh, they would be toppled at no time. So, they know that. And they want to preserve what they have. The cleric regime wants to preserve what they have. Um, it comes to another point of me. Like, I was thinking, the cleric regime have established this tone with people. You speak politics, you will be going to prison, we will torture you, we will kill you. And they do. They do. I'm like, doesn't matter if people speak politics or not. They're going to kill people. They're going to 
kill people one day or another. And I don't understand the mind frame because everything is politics. Right now I'm sitting here because politics decide for me. Politics will decide for me to pursue higher education, the kind of car I'm driving, uh, you just name it, the kind of a clothes I am wearing. Politics is everything and it is very sad. Um, oh my God, I feel every time those people comes to my mind. Uh, German, Afghani, Iranians, those children, those newly married couples, it breaks my heart and that's why I, I made these video clips. God bless their souls and be in heaven. Thank you.